So this is Yabra Pass. Here we go. When you come in here, you need to be in four wheel drive. You need some momentum because it can get pretty soft. But we've spent many a night back here in the winter. It's a really cool spot if you get weathered. So we come right back here and there's some good birds back here as well. And that's it. That's the real bad spot. But after that, it's clean and green. So I'm gonna just come down here a little bit further. Let Brenda catch us up. Let's go back and have a look and see what we can find. So this is the road, the world famous Yabra Pass. In the winter, a lot of the fishermen used to come back here and we'd party and catch, uh, black, drum. <laughs> catch black drum that's yeah. what the game was Look, um, you, we'd end up with big crowds back here and <laughs> spend many a rough night it's really cold yeah but it was good good fun so the driving's not bad caliche is nice the road is in good condition really good compared to what it has been in the past <clears throat> And you see some very neat wildlife back here. They've got a, uh, a hawk stand over here on my left. There's nothing on it at the moment, but that's more likely where, what's that called, the uh, Aplomado yeah. nest. There has been one out here. Can hear the meadow lark singing. Mm -hmm. Seen quite a few this morning, but yeah. it's not back here yet. Back in the 80s, they used to have an oil camp back here. Ralph Wade fondly talks about how he'd trade fish for fuel. <laughs> Come back and we've got over there a heron, is it? Walking? Yeah, uh, I bet it's a reddish. Oh, yeah. See him? I'll get a picture for our friends and see what we've got. Yeah. He's on the hunt. Yeah, is he flapping his wings yeah. and stuff? Yeah, he got it's something. a reddish. <laughs> They're so fun to watch, those birds. So it's important when you're back here, you stay in the tracks, stay on the road. You get in big trouble if you try riding in them grass dunes. And you can destroy a lot of habitat as well. So will, will it? it, I think. Yeah. Like pelicans over there, I better just check in case they're yeah. sand, not sand hills. What are they called? Um, whoopee crackers. Way over there? Mm. No, we don't. You never know. White pelicans. White pellies. This is a real beautiful part of the park that a lot of people don't know about and I feel they should know more about it. It's part of what this island's about, this bit behind the dune lines, the flats, the grasslands. It shouldn't be kept private, it should be shared. And there should be hides down here and everything. Because the wildlife down here can be exceptional. Often you see Billy down here when we'd come down. He's probably bird, bird watching. Yeah, he was. You see deer back here. Actually, I did a film with Ralph Wade in it and there was a lot of deer in the background. Oop. 
This hasn't changed much. <laughs> this is what it was like all the way for years. Yeah. And then they redid the road, put caliche on top of it, did it up. But since they've done that, they tend to keep the part, this road closed a lot yeah. for what appears to be no reason. There's a boat ramp here, uh, launching area. It, it saves you 15 miles of driving down. Oh, you're right, yeah, yeah. You're right here at the land cut. And uh, this is good trout area. Black drum. I can hear an airboat. Mm -hmm. Yep, I hear it. <laughs> Oh, there it is. It's way over there, I think. Well, I don't know. I don't see it yet. There's oh, one there. there. It is. there yeah, it is. yeah. Look, to the left. Yeah, I see him. And you see the waves coming off it. Beautiful day. I'm glad we came down. Oh yeah, for sure. This is an area where people can camp. Or anywhere down here. Yeah. Used to come down here to catch mullet. Oh, if I see some finger mullet, I'm gonna <laughs> catch some and we're gonna cook it. Yeah, I got I got an Egyptian friend who used to eat finger mullet when he was a kid. He said they're beautiful, so let's go and see if we can find some. Yeah. Used to be a picnic area down here. They've moved that. Someone's out in a kayak. Yeah. Is that a kayak there? To the left. Maybe. I can't tell if it's a kayak or a boat. Now, that airboat is not the quietest way of getting around, <laughs> is it? No. <laughs> it's noisy. <laughs> Dogs in or out? Ah, uh, let it reel. So over there is Kingsville area, King Ranch. Baffin Bay is over here as well. This is where they go and get a lot of trout. Big trout. There's a, a boat out there that must have been here ever since I've been coming down for 20 odd years. An old wreck that I've walked to before now. Huh? 30 years, is it? Yeah, it is. This is soft. Let's see if I can see any mullet. See any signs of mullet, let me know. Got a 
gotta be some here somewhere. There's a kayak, huh? It's like a bit there. And that pole there is a channel marker. So if you wade out to that, you're in deep, there's a deep channel there and that's, there's some good uh, drum, that's a good drum area. Oh, right straight ahead of you, I saw something pop. A little farther out. Just past that dark line. Yeah, just on the other edge of it. Banada. Have a look and see if there's mullet off the edge of this oh, jetty. I was thinking the same thing, that's why we used to get a lot of it. You gotta be careful because it'll come up muddy. You don't yeah. want muddy, do you? No, not really. See, I really thought there was some right here, but I just saw that one splash. So. No, the one with the black um, turnstone.
The dice has been rolled. I know it's too late. Oh, hang on, girls. Don't take it away. Don't take it away. Yeah. Where once there was beauty, I'd stand in awe. The almighty dollar is closing the door. I said, Don't take it away. Don't take it away. Maybe I'll be yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, Abby. Seeing anything, Abby? What's up? Spotted anything? Our freedom ignored. Our rights washed aside. They stand there proudly, no, okay. gloating with pride. <laughs> She's a honey badger. Yeah. Get away. Don't take it. Seeing anything, away. Abby? What is it? Yeah. What's going on? Is there a deer? Any deer? Where's Coyote? Not one grain of sand. Not one grain well, there you go, mates. That's a quick Don't trip down Yabba Pass. Which is the entrance Don't is 15 miles down away. the National Seashore. And if the gates open, it's a really nice place to go back and have a look. But you do need four wheel drive. Uh, to get through this section and if you're not sure bring two of you because if you get stuck back there the back you're hand genuinely hand stuck we'll take it away. <laughs> <laughs> are you ready to go on the camera there we go. so you need a little bit of momentum you cannot beat momentum and you sincerely hope you don't meet someone with the same idea and want to come the other way. To a parents to you. <laughs> Actually, this is pretty fun. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Due. No. Sometimes in the summer, it's it really away. It dries out. Don't yeah. take it away. Yeah. Beautiful. That's it, girls. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Nick away and Brenda on the National Seashore, Corpus Christi, Texas. Don't take it away, don't take it away.